seeing you here. That was so stupid. Ignore the fact I did that. Actually, you can't ignore it. I already did it. What's everyone doing? You're probably like, what the heck are you doing? Why are you uploading on this channel? Why do you sound like a man? Let's go through it all. First, I sound like a man. I literally just woke up. My alarm went off to take my birth control. I took it, went back to sleep. I am uploading on here because I have nothing else to do. Anyways, it's nine in the morning. Usually before I get on my phone, I always read. I'm reading this book called The Memory Please by Yoko Ogawa. Very good, I'll let you guys know how I like it when I finish it. Usually I don't talk to anyone when I first wake up, but I'm talking to a camera now, so I'm still not talking to anyone, but it feels like I'm talking to someone. Okay, I'm gonna start reading. Do you see that freaking spider? I got hairspray, because I'm scared. It's like 10.30 in the morning. I haven't even like gotten my stuff together. It's like, that is so big. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. <gasps> oh my god, wait, I'm shaking. I'm so scared. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm literally like shaking on the inside. What if it comes crawling after me? Guys, what do I do? It has to come out. Like, where the fuck is it? Oh my god, I'm terrified. I gotta clean my floors. I asked my boyfriend what I should do, and he said you should vacuum it up. I don't know what I'm scared about though more. Is like, what if I move it? And it's not there. Like, I moved the refrigerator and the spider's not there. And also, isn't it just gonna, like, crawl in the vacuum and out of the vacuum? I'm just, I'm confused. I don't know how to move this. Like, I don't want my feet under it, because what if it crawls up near my feet? As long as it, like, it's not up here, right? Like, Spidey, Spidey, where are you? Oh, I think I see it. There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay, I found it. Oh, I need a clean back here. Ew. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> ah! How is it still alive? How is it still alive after all that? Okay, I'm gonna whack it with a shoe just to make sure. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so I changed because I realized. Change because I realized you could probably see my ass the entire time of me killing that freaking spider. I don't know if I do this right, to be honest. So I'm taking this antibiotic. I just started taking it yesterday. So I took it this morning and also my stomach started hurting. So I'm guessing that you can't take it on an empty stomach. So I just took it and I literally feel like I want to barf. So please pray for me. My day is not going well so far, as you can tell. So if you're curious what happened with my day, I've just been literally sitting on the couch for really like half an hour. I didn't even drink any of my coffee because guess what Candace did? I threw up. I searched it up and you definitely cannot take it on an empty stomach. But now I have to make a whole new pot of coffee because this is cold. It's not that it's cold, it's just like not hot. Well, maybe, I mean the container is kind of hot so maybe I can try it. But I'm just kind of annoyed because I feel like I just wasted that whole time. So wait, let me try this. Isn't this mug so cute? Reminds me of a diner mug. I got it from a coffee shop in Highland Park. I'm finally feeling better enough to eat. Okay. So first things first, I'm the realist. Does anyone else like just put their tortilla just flat on the stove burner? Like that's the only way I know how to do it. I know some people are probably gonna be like, oh my god, this bathroom is like gas. No, I don't care. I don't understand that about eggs. No matter how much oil or butter you put in the pan when you make scrambled eggs, they still freaking stick. I don't, I don't understand. So this is how we do it. So the first thing I do is do the tortilla. Kiss me more. Oh my god, she's smoking. And always shake your eggs. I didn't make enough eggs, so this is gonna be a small ass burrito. Like a small ass burrito. And then add some of your hot Cheetos. That is a very sad burrito. It's like no egg. I didn't add enough. It's just not my day. Uh oh. I'm really pale right now. I really need a self tan. The issue with my self tanner, it's really hot in LA right now. It's like a heat wave going on. Anyways, whenever I sweat, the self tanner comes off so much. I need some suggestions of good self tanners that don't come off when you sweat. As you can tell, I'm super pale. This is me tan. Actually, I went tanning last week and 
it's kind of pathetic that this is what I look like. I just get a bunch of freckles, I turn red, and then it goes away. So I'm in my room, and it's finally completely finished. I mean, I'll probably add some more plants, realistically. I literally just got my rug in, and I've been waiting for it for like two and a half, three months. So I wanted to show you guys everything. It is from Afrakesh. I'll link it down below. But it's hand-woven, a Moroccan rug. I am obsessed with it because I wanted to get color since everything else in my room is very plain, as you can tell. So I wanted to get this. And then over here we got art piece. I have these spots on it because I overwatered it and I'm so <laughs> sad. So I haven't watered it in like three weeks and it's still wet. So let me know what to do. I have over here another little art thing. I have another plant. Yesterday it was completely wilted, added some water to it and it perked right up. I got this from a store, it's called Goodies LA. It was literally like five bucks. I thought it was super cute and just tied in like the colors. Have my book, side tables from CB2 or West Elm. Either one, have my bed. Such a comfy freaking bed. A little wooden bench thing that just sits stuff on. Another little art piece. Art piece. This is from West Elm. This is Boy Smells Candle. Literally the best smelling candle. I'm obsessed with it. This is from West Elm as well. These are super comfy. They're a eucalyptus sheet and I sleep naked. I know it's kind of TMI, but it's good to sleep with eucalyptus sheets if you do sleep naked because they're breathable. It's super chill and simple. I'm thinking of doing like a hanging plant maybe over in the corner over there. I have to go to like a FedEx print and chip type thing to go print out a label and a packing slip thingy. And what's really funny is that I actually used to go to this FedEx all the time because because when Quincy and I first moved here with Katie, we lived like right in the heart of Hollywood where like all the influencers lived. And I remember we had to come here to like print tickets to some Halloween bash thing with like Bella Weems, Katie, me, Quincy, I think it was like Alexa May. After my little throw up situation, which, and the spider incident, my morning did not go well. But I feel like now I'm finally getting my stuff together. Like I'm prepared. I wanted to do a little home project. Ben and I have this little plant stand that's sitting outside on our patio and we don't really have anything on our patio. So I wanted to paint it, bring it inside, bring the two plants that are sitting on it inside. I'm obsessed with plants recently and I can't help it. I just gotta say this because every time I do it, I feel like a boss bitch. I just backed into a parking spot and I did amazing. And did you back into a parking spot if you didn't tell anyone? No, you didn't. So here's me telling you I backed into a parking spot. Okay, so I changed my clothes and I made this little get up. I have no idea what I'm doing y'all, but this is the stand, I'm gonna spray paint. I have to sand it down first, I don't know why. I feel like I saw this in like some type of HGTV show or something, but we're just gonna sand away, I guess. This is like a big nail filer when you can it. So the paint that I got, dark walnut satin, I don't even know what that means. Basically, you just spray paint this. I got the dark walnut because that's the color of our kitchen table. And I feel like things had to be like kind of coordinated. This is like one of those shake weight things. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. I want to make sure it's all coated well and I don't mess it up because it did go inside. I feel like if this was staying outside, I really wouldn't care what it looked like too much. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Y'all, I know this is really bad quality and stuff, but I'm on my like old camcorder. I thought I would show you guys what the final plant stand looks like. So, looks good. I'm so proud of myself. I sat on my phone and watched netflix for the past three hours so i've been watching call my agent which i don't know if you guys know it's a french show but it's so funny watch it with subtitles i don't know any french but it's hilarious i made a vegan turkey cheese avocado onion and tomato sandwich but now that it's five o'clock and i have nothing to do I feel like this is the end of my day. You know what's so fun with you guys coming along? I feel like I haven't done this in a while. Well, I definitely haven't done this in a while. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna be uploading more. Send me some DMs saying what you wanna see. So I will see you guys next time.